you seem <laughs> awful not lost, bro. <laughs> You'll do fine, buddy. Thanks. Deep, deep breath. Uh, I think uh, I think the mic, I think the mic may be hot. I think the mic may be hot. Are we on? So yes, we're even standing there with the circle. It reminds me of Walpole. Way to go. <laughs> okay, good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for being here today in Russell. And, and our constituency of Swan, our constituency in Swan River for this very important announcement. Uh, I'm Rick Wochuk, okay, the MLA for the Swan River constituency. And I'm pleased to be here today with a number of my colleagues. And over here we got uh, Brad Michaleski, MLA Dauphin. We got uh, Scott Fielding, he's the MLA for Kirkfield Park. And we've got uh, Greg Nesbeth, MLA for Riding Mountain. Cliff Collin, the MLA for Spruce Woods, and Sarah Guimard, the MLA for Fort Richmond. And also joining us here today is um, Brian Schubert, and Brian is the CEO of Prairie Mountain Health. And we also got Gloria Tibbetts. Uh, she is the president of the Expanding Community Cancer Care Committee, and joining her also is Judy Forsythe. Um, at this time, um, I'd like to acknowledge and begin by acknowledging we are located here on uh, Treaty 2 territory and the homeland of which we gather is the traditional ter territory the Anishinaabe, Cree, Oji Cree, Assiniboine, Dakota and Dene peoples and the homeland of the Métis Nation. At this time I would like to invite uh, my friend and also the Deputy Premier Cliff Collin up to the podium. Uh, thanks, Rick. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us uh, today. Uh, I'll just say this announcement's been a, a long time coming and appreciate uh, everybody's perseverance. Uh, unfortunately, the, uh, the Premier would have loved to have been here, but as many of you know, uh, flooding conditions in uh, Interlake and southern Manitoba, she felt it necessary to go and, and s visit some of those people that are being impacted uh, by our flooding. Healthcare is certainly our government's number one priority. And since we took office, we've been steadfast in our commitment to provide better care for all Manitobans. Our vision focuses on reduced wait times, improved access, and more services closer to home. And together, today, we are taking an important step in achieving that goal. Cancer touches the lives of nearly every Manitoban, either through a diagnosis of our own or of a loved one. So it is fitting that the community has come together in Russell to support people on that journey. It gives me great pleasure to announce the $2.5 million expansion of the chemotherapy unit located here at the Russell Health Center. This approximately 2,300 square foot building addition will house the cancer care program and further supports the development of the Russell Health Center into a hub for Prairie Mountain Health as part of the Manitoba clinical and preventive services plans for the future. That clinical and preventive services plan was developed and led by our clinical leaders and our public health system experts from across the province to improve access and enhance the quality of care while reducing provincial wait times. All associated construction costs estimated at 2.5 million will be provided by the Expanding Cancer Care Committee and construction is slated to begin this summer. That's how the notes read. We know the local committee has raised uh, approximately 1.8 million, $1.8 million raised by the community to date. Our Premier has made the commitment to pick up the rest of that money for this $2.5 million investment. All right. Yes, that's great news, I know. I know the community will sense a lot of relief with this announcement. Uh, and it's great, great, uh, great work on behalf of the community uh, to get to this point. 
Uh, we're so happy as a government to be supportive of your community. We're excited about this project getting underway. We know it's going to benefit uh, so many people, not in this community, but probably 15 or 20 other communities as well. So with that, I thank you so much for your attendance today. Looking forward to coming back for a ribbon cutting in the very near future. And I'm sure... And I'm sure the Premier will be here with us next time. So with that, thank you very much. <laughs> yes, that's, uh, that's a great announcement. I remember there when uh, first getting into the Swan River constituency and we seen the expansion of the lines and uh, the boundary lines and when my... Uh, a uh, fellow colleague here, Greg Nesbitt, kind of handed off the baton uh, to myself here and we worked together. Uh, our entire team worked with uh, Gloria and Judy and, uh, you know, I I'll tell you, there's a lot of, there's almost tears in my eyes and I know there's tears in their eyes today for this announcement because it's been a long time in coming and I just uh, know how much work they put into this this project to make a difference for the community and the surrounding area. So thank you, Deputy Premier Cliff Collin for that great announcement. And I'd also now like to invite the CEO, Brian Schoenbert, up to speak. Brian. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Brian Schoenbert, CEO of Prairie Mountain Health. It's been said that if something is that important, it's worth waiting for. It's also been said, persistence always pays off. <laughs> Those two expressions um, ring true for us today. And we're very, very pleased to be standing here today to acknowledge, formally acknowledge, Russell Health Center's chemotherapy unit expansion is indeed moving forward. Although this project took a little longer to materialize than we had all hoped, we are grateful, most of all grateful, for the hard work, dedication, and commitment of the ECCC. Let's give them a hand. And of course, we have to say a major thank you for the amazing local support shown to this committee. The amount raised, the 1.8 million, is truly staggering and is an indication of the, co the community's commitment to this project for those who require cancer services. Of course, the new building will be, to, will be able to better serve the patients at, in this part of the region, as was mentioned, but it is a better place, a better physical environment for our staff to uh, provide better care. Absolutely. Prairie Mountain Health will continue to collaborate with the ECC Committee, Cancer Care Manitoba, the staff, local stakeholders, to plan for the necessary building parameters, construction costs, associated timelines for this project. And as you know, when completed, the building addition will be four times the size of what currently the space is. PMH will of course be absorbing the additional operating costs related to the project. Within PMH, we have seven community cancer programs, including the Western Manitoba Cancer Center in Brandon, but all of these cancer centers play a very pivotal role for our region in providing cancer services closer to home. Our hats go off to Gloria and, and Trudy, and I, I really have to say thank you, Minister, for this announcement. It was very, very um, unexpected, but very, very much appreciated. Thank you so much. And please give my thank you to on to the Premier. Um, I, I think what I want to say too, um, additionally, is it wasn't just the commitment to raise the funds, but it was the fact that the ECC committee recognized the need for the, for the area, the need for the clients, and the need for the staff. And that's what they really need to be commended for, is their persistence 
and their passion for the project and that that is what has brought us here today so thank you very much congratulations to all and i too am looking forward to opening day thank you thank you very much brian now i'd like to invite gloria tevitz to the say a few words gloria a few words <laughs> Okay, normally, with good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> I am completely blown away here. Good afternoon. Normally, with an announcement like, a, like this, a shovel would be involved, but our Manitoba weather is not accommodating as the ground is still frozen. On behalf of ECCC, I want to thank the Minister of Health, Audrey Gordon, for stamping the approval of our new chemotherapy build. Also to our premium, Premier Heather Stephenson for her support of our project and recognizing the value and necessity of this expansion to the health of our regional community. I also want to thank PMH's CEO Brian Schoonbart and our MLAs Rick Wochuk and Greg Nesbitt who all worked behind the scene to help ECCC achieve their goal. My biggest thank you goes out to the entire ECCC committee for a great team effort who in the past seven years have worked tirelessly to raise $1.8 million through fundraising and mega donations from residents and businesses from the 15 surrounding communities that also touches seven municipalities, as well as from areas outside these RMs. I want to thank each and every one of you who supported ECCC and still are supporting us to make sure this new state-of-the-art chemotherapy building will be up and running in record time. We re resourced the staff and the chemo clients at the current chemotherapy unit for their desires for the new building and came up with our own sketch. ECCC is responsible for the total amount of the project, at least we thought we were. Um, <laughs> PMH has promised teamwork and partnership to move forward with this project. We did have a lot of stumbling blocks. January the 18th, we got the green light. February 15th, we found out the estimated cost would have been 2.5 million which we didn't really expect that much. Five years ago, it wouldn't have been that much. Um, so we were a $700,000 shortfall. And then we didn't know that till April the 7th. So we've been on a mission trying to get prom promissory notes and funds raised to make this a go. And as of today, we were giving one last push, but I, apparently now, I guess we don't. Thank you very, very much. And our dream, our dream is going to be a reality. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yep, wow. Thank you so much, Gloria. Well, this concludes the formal portion of this exciting announcement. And uh, I want to thank everyone for coming out uh, to Russell today. And if anybody uh, from the media has any questions,